Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, December 3rd, 2023. This puzzle has a title, it's called Freestyling. Alright, let's get started. One across, sarcastic response to an unsurprising development. Hmm, there are a lot of options here. Color me surprised? Yeah. We're gonna need some help here. Stimulates. Hmm. There's a lot of options here, too. Gold Rush Camp that became a state capital. Hmm. Gold Rush. It's not Sacramento, that's too short. I wonder where else this could be. Interesting. Hormone therapy product. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some of these downs. I bet it would help a lot on these long acrosses. Siddhartha author. Shoot, I know I've seen this before. Who wrote this? Ugh, oh, man. We'll be able to come up with it with more help if we can get it. Where sacrifices may be made. Maybe that's at an altar? Planet Earth. I wonder if they're looking for Terra here. That's another word for Earth. Alexander's one through three. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're asking for here. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Czars. I think there was Czar Alexander's in Russia, yeah. Will be in Spanish. Hmm will be. So this is future tense. I'm not sure if I'm going to know this. Actress Morel Blank of TV's Hannah and a Lucky Hang. Hmm. I haven't watched either of these shows. Trail Behind. That should be lag. Made sense. And this is wordplay, so it's not about making logical sense. This is about making something you can smell. Made sense. Is it about perfume? Hmm. Lasting for an immeasurable time span. Lasting. It's not forever. How legal papers may be signed. Is it online? Hmm. Diehard fan in modern lingo. I think today you would be called a Stan. Turner of American history. That's probably Nat Turner. Wrapped around. This could be a lot of things. This is a pretty long entry. This is actually a very unique Sunday grid. It feels like there's a lot of wide open space here. There's not a lot of short answers. Mark, who is the world's highest paid actor in 2017. Mark? Is it Mark Wahlberg? Could that be true? I mean, he fits. That's interesting. Sarcastic response to an unsurprising development. What else is new? Nice, there we go. Okay, these are really gonna help on the downs here. Stimulates. That could be wets? Like you're wetting someone's appetite? Siddhartha. Hmm. I wonder if it's Hess. Will be Sarah. K Sarah Sarah. Yeah, maybe. Whatever will be, will be. Hmm. I'm not gonna know this name. Let's try these acrosses. Oh, so we're gonna have the state in here. This has got to be Helena, Montana. Nice, okay. I think this must be Hess, yeah. So this looks like it has to be estrogen. Estrogen patch? Yeah, there we go. So this is Enos? Oof, that's tough. Made sense. Oh, it's just smelled. That's funny. Hmm. Ian Ick? How is this going to end? This could be pen, in pen. 
legal claim. That's definitely a lien. Map out should be plan. So is it Ianiel? <laughs> what a weird adjective. That is so strange. Who said football is not about one or two or three star players? Hmm. I wonder if this is a coach. Blank Vogue. What is this? It's not in Vogue. Blank the Lucky Rabbit, character in early Disney shorts. That's Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Okay. Va va voom. This feels like it should be ooh la la. Is it two O's? It cuts the cheese, but not the mustard. Hmm. Is this about a knife? I don't know. Got some shut eye. This is wordplay, so it's not about sleeping. Hmm. Got some shut eye. I wonder where the pun is here. Hmm. That's a pretty tricky one. QB protecting group. Okay, we had the opposite of this on yesterday's puzzle. This will be the offensive line. Super silious. This is more wordplay. So this is not going to be about an arrogant person. It's got to be about something that's very silly. Hmm. I wonder if we have a themeless Sunday today. Because the title of today's puzzle is freestyling, and we haven't hit any obvious theme answers, and this puzzle is pretty dense, so I suspect we're not going to have a theme today. What nocturnal polysomnography may detect. Polysomnography. It sounds like a lot of sleeping graphs? What are they talking about? Hmm. Use a divining rod. That should be douse in an attempt to find water. Okay. Emulate. Do like? Is this a slicer? Maybe. Let's see. Is this an eye? Got some shut eye. Okay, I guess that's winked. Very funny. Leave hurriedly in quaint usage. Hmm. I wonder if it starts with make or take. This definitely seems like it's going to be do like. Oh my god, they're not talking about American football. This is what Americans would call soccer, so this must be Pele. Huh. Blank Vogue. What in the world is this? I wonder if this is not an L. This is very tricky. Ooh, this looks weird too. Oh, whoops. This is not the right version of douse. This douse means to put something out with water. But when you're looking for water, it's with a W. Douse, yeah. Okay, super silious. I wonder if it starts with wacky. Sleep. It's got to start with sleep, right? Canal Inspector. Okay, I think this is about your ear canal. This will be an ear doctor. All right, what is this? It feels like something's wrong here. Make something? Oh boy. Seasonal Russian Cottages. Those are called dakas. Okay, nice. Uh, hmm, this entry is so strange. It's a question of timing. Would that literally be when? Huh. Leave hurriedly. You know what I think this is? I think this is take a powder. Yeah, it's kind of like giving up. Okay, so this has got to be teen vogue. Ionian. That's not a lot better. That's still very weird. <laughs> okay. A list of ranked favorites. This should really be top 10. Yeah. Like some decals. 
This should be iron-on, like an iron-on decal for your jacket. Difficult. Hmm. It's not trouble. Is it trying? Like you're trying someone's patience? This has got to be wackadoodle. That's a pretty fun entry, actually. And this must be sleep apnea. That makes a lot of sense. Pulitzer winning poet Gary. I don't think I've heard of this person. Capital on the island of Luzon. Hmm. I've never heard of this island before. Rough fabric with a loose weave. Rough fabric. Hmm. It's not burlap. Diamond division. This must be talking about a baseball diamond. This should be an inning. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Wrapped around. Okay, this could be encircling. That helps a little bit. Retailer headquartered in Freeport, Maine. Hmm. I want this to be L.L. Bean. Is it not encircling? Oh, that doesn't even fit. Okay, well that solves that problem. This should be L.L. Bean. And then... What is this going to be? Hmm. Snooze. That could be a boar. The Stepford Wives in the Stepford Wives, it seems. Uh, they're kind of like robots, right? Robots. Yeah, that does fit. Rough fabric. I don't know if I'm going to know this one. This should be in closing. There we go. Much sketch comedy. It's probably a lot of satire, yeah. Is this Ratine? Oof, I don't know. Maybe this is Manila? Let's see if this is right. Acronymic devices in atomic clocks and radio telescopes. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it is Masers. Lasers, but with microwave radiation? Masers? Yeah. I think that has to be it. Okay, let's try this corner up here. Military trainees, that could be cadets. Turkish money. Is that liras? Let's see here. That makes two of us. And this is an exclamation point clue, so we need something that literally makes two of us. Hmm, what would that be? Would it be cloning? Oh my god, that's so funny. That's a really nice clue. Carrier out of Kuala Lumpur. It's probably going to start with air. I'm not sure where Kuala Lumpur is. Hmm. Port city in Algeria. Ooh, I'm not sure about this either. They're seen on the flags of Bhutan and Wales. Well, I know there's a dragon on the Welsh flag, so this has to be dragons. Badger should be nag. Having equal angles. If that's a triangle, it should be an isosceles triangle, right? Ooh, that doesn't fit. Hmm. What is this? Is this Air Asia? Maybe. I do like this ISO prefix here, like some golf courses. I guess this could be nine hole. That would be half a round of standard golf. They may need fillings. Hmm. It starts with gas? Blank up off of that thing. 1976 hit. It's get up off of that thing, right? Yeah. So, what is this? Uh, having equal angles. Hmm. Host city of the 2022 FIFA World Cup. I think that was in Doha, wasn't it? So, this could be gas tanks. Investigators abbreviated. That could definitely be detectives. Part of a woodworking joint. Oh no, this is kind of a technical term. I know I've seen this before. Is it pennon? 
I want to say it starts with a P. Let's see here. Passage from one party to another. Passage. What kind of party are we talking about? Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Media impressions, influencer marketing, etc. informally. Huh. I mean, this is all kind of modern social media stuff, right? It's probably talk. Maybe it's PR talk. That would make sense. Sore spot for kids. And this is wordplay, so it's not something kids don't want to talk about. It's got to literally be a sore spot. Uh, I would want it to be ouchies. It would fit, but I think this has to be right, so... Hmm, I'm not sure what it is. Having equal angles. I wonder if it's isogonal. Yeah, so maybe this is measles? I guess that would be sore spots for kids, yeah. Man, compulsory payments of old. Compulsory? Is this like taxes? What is this? Rang as a bell. Okay, that should be peeled. That's a ringing sound. It might be tenon. I'm having a hard time remembering this. Passage. Yeah, it could start with travel, maybe. San Blanc, capital founded in 1521. Oh boy, this could be a lot of things. Apocalyptic scene. Hmm. What in the world? Apocalyptic? I have no idea. Mainstay of a sci-fi defense system. Hmm. I wonder if it's some kind of shield. Like in Star Trek. Most serious in law. It's not draconian. Boy, we kind of ran out of steam, didn't we? Let's see if we can keep building over here. Month that goes by fast. This is more wordplay, so it's not just about a calendar month that goes by fast. This has got to be a joke about fasting during the Islamic month of Ramadan. That's pretty funny. Okay, this is definitely going to help build down. Evergreen tree with a fragrant bark. Hmm, evergreen. I wonder if it's some kind of pine tree. Indian dish of potatoes and cauliflower. I'm pretty sure I know this one. I think this is alu gobi. Nice. Putt putt. Hmm. Well, there was a putt putt miniature golf I used to go to as a kid. I have a feeling that's not what they're talking about. I wonder if this is a sound of a motor. Motoring. That would actually fit. Loads. That could be a lot, a ton. Billionaires and such. That's got to be elites, yeah. See 81 across. With 71 across, participant in some fertility treatments. That could be an egg donor, yeah. Nice, okay. Huh. Well, it starts with red. Wait a minute, is this mini golf? That's so funny. I thought it was a brand name. Mini golf, interesting. Loads, okay, that's a ton. What a token may resemble. That would be a coin. You could use a token at putt putt mini golf, yeah. Okay. Let's make a deal option. Wasn't that when you had to pick between three doors? So this could be door one or door two. Evergreen tree. It's got to be a red cedar. Leaves. Hmm. This could be riffles. That's when you're paging through a book. That is a very tricky clue. Flag thrower informally. That would be a ref in American football. Not this kind of football. Pasta recipe instruction. That'll be boil. So this must be door one. Hopefully we want a new car. Accessibility concern. 
That's definitely ableism. All right. Inkling. I have a sense. I have an inkling that it's door number one. Yeah. Family emblems. It's not crests. It feels like it should be crests. Is it not ableism? Hmm. Crests really doesn't fit, does it? Picks to win. That should be bets on. Hmm. What is this? Pleased as punch. It's not sated. Units of ram for short. Hmm. Units of ram. It should be something like megabytes or today it should be gigabytes. So let's put in gigs here and see if that's right. Badly injured. Hmm. Man, it really feels like they should be maimed. Yeah, so maybe this is Megs instead. Given the name, it's not dubbed? Hmm. Pleased as punch. Interesting. Boy, I don't know. Carmina Barana composer? I definitely don't know this off the top of my head, but we've probably heard of this person. Period from 1945 to 1953. Uh, period where? In America or the world? What is this? I would want to say it's post-war. Hmm. That definitely doesn't fit. Out-schemed in a way. Hmm. It's not one-upped. Played the rat? Hmm. Is it squealed? That doesn't fit. It's probably going to end in a D. Intruded within. Hmm. Horned in? Jeepers, an equivalent phrase. This could be a lot of things. Metric weight units. I wonder if this is the metric spelling of ton. It could be tons, yeah. Huh. Out schemed. Is this finked? That's telling on your co-conspirators, right? Oh my god. Mainstay of a sci-fi defense system. Okay, yeah, we were really close. It's gotta be a force field. Nice, yeah, that's a kind of shield. Okay. Intruded within. Maybe it is horned in. Let's see. Apocalyptic scene. Is that a hellscape? What a great entry, that is so funny. Purchase at a sports stadium. That definitely should be Jersey. Okay. San Juan? Is that right? What is this? Ooh, this looks very weird. M-U-L-C? Hmm, most serious in law. Okay, yeah, that's the first degree. Malts? Is that right? What a weird word. I think it probably is right. All of this stuff looks really good. Wow. Hopefully we got some background on this word. This is wild. Passage. It's gotta be transfer, right? One party. Oh, wait a minute. Passage. Maybe you're passing an item, like a car, from one party to another? Is it transferring? I'm not sure what this is going to be. Items usually sold in boxes of 25. Looks like that's cigars. Mountaintop homes. If we're talking about eagles, this should be Aries. Enough to go around. Plenty. There's plenty to go around. And Utopias should be Edens. So this is Rain? Actor Wilson of The Office. That's what I was hoping it would be. That's good. 
stops over in France. This is wordplay, so it's not about taking a quick layover in France. I wonder if it's the word for stops in French. I believe that's arre, right? That's stop? Okay, yeah, let's hope that's what it is. Landed. Yeah, that should be a lit. Elegant and refined. Stay classy. So, transferal. That actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. Peacock show. This is wordplay. So, I don't believe they're talking about Peacock, the streaming service. Maybe it's a peacock showing its fancy tail. Yeah. Abandon without warning. Hmm. What would that be? They're found beside exclamation marks on keyboards. Those are tildes, yeah. All right. Character defamation. Ooh. I know there's a good word for this. Uh, I believe it's calumny. That is a $10 word. Yeah, that's a really good one. So this is jilt? Like you jilted someone at the altar? Let's see. Coup group. Uh, maybe this is a military junta. Yeah, they could perform a coup. The Handmaid's Tale Error. That was on Hulu. Inkling. It's not a hunch. Maybe it's a hint? Yeah. Prompt from the chronically forgetful. Remind me. <laughs> uh, how is it going to end? Remind me again? Yeah, I guess it is a chronic condition. Walk in place. Another wordplay clue. So it's not about some kind of exercise. Hmm. Walk in place. That's interesting. Set of books with maps, perhaps. Is it talking about an atlas? It feels like it needs to start with fantasy. Fantasy series? Kind of like Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Otherworldly sorts for short. Yeah, those are extraterrestrials. Largest of the lagomorphs. What in the world are lagomorphs? I have no idea. Sweet stuff in asparagus, if you read it backward. This feels like a cryptic clue a little bit. It looks like there is sugar in asparagus, if you read it backward. Okay. Many a Shiite. Hmm. Maybe there's a lot of Shiites in Oman? It could be Omani. It may be raised in an argument. You definitely might raise your voice. Anti-blank pretzel chain. Isn't that anti ans Let's see here. Is this Sova? Figure in the Hindu trinity. That feels like it should be Shiva. So this is probably Irani, not Omani. First Nations group of the Great Lakes region. That's gotta be the Huron, just like Lake Huron. Largest of the Lagomorphs. You know what? I think lagomorphs might be rabbits or rabbit-like animals. So this could be a hare. That actually looks pretty good, yeah. Time to get back to work abbreviated. That would be Monday. So it looks like we have an entrance here. Walk in place. Hmm. Is it just the front entrance? It's where you walk in? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Carmina Barana, RFF, is that right? Hmm, that looks kind of weird. I mean, it is going to be a name. It is ERA. So, what would you call the ERA after World War II? Man, I don't know. Out-schemed. Is it just fooled? That doesn't feel like you're out scheming someone. Jeepers. Is this jinky? Isn't that what Velma says on Scooby-Doo? 
I think she says jinkies. Hmm, I'm not so sure about this. This would be two eyes in a row. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. I wonder if they're talking about the period in American history. So that would be the Truman era, right? So neither of these were right. That's interesting. The Truman era. So this could be crikey. I like that a lot better. Is this foiled? Because you foiled someone else's scheme. That makes so much more sense. This could be mauled. Given the name. That should be deemed. Hmm. C-A-E. This name is looking stranger and stranger. Family emblems. What? What is this? This seems like it should be so glad. So it seems like this should actually be totems, maybe. Let's see here. So this is so glad. This is not deemed. Maybe it's termed? And this would be Karlorf. Uh, is that right? Is it two names? Is it Karl... Orf? Carmina Barana. That is not ringing any bells, but let's go ahead and throw this L in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 39 minutes. So this did end up being a themeless Sunday puzzle. Yeah, that was a nice relaxing solve. And there was a whole bunch of really fun long entries, especially in the middle here. Hellscape, Force Field, Wackadoodle. That is so funny. What else is new? We also got Take a Powder. That's a very nice rare phrase that I do hear every once in a while. We also got Calumny. That's a fun one to learn. And Alu Gobi. Man, I'm getting hungry. I also love some of the tricky cluing today. I think this one is probably my favorite. That makes two of us for cloning. That's such a funny literal clue. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed solving that Sunday puzzle with me. It's about time for me to take a powder, but I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time. Thank you.